Josh, Matt. Good. What's up, Joey? Matt. Good to meet you, man. Josh, want to say what's crib. up? So welcome to Joey's crib. Pulled up here on the Delta. I'm gonna check to see if my drone is still alive real quick. This is kind of the moment of truth for this. I think it's good, dude. I think it's good. It's good. It's good. Yes. Come say what up. What's up, Josh? He's now at the Delta. If you haven't. Learn that yet? I made it to the Delta. Yeah. Two We're planes, out. three cars. We're here. I'm like a, a kid on Christmas right now. <laughs> it's so sick. Yeah. You so guys are about to meet Joey. What's up? up? Hey. Hey. It's Joey Price. He invited me to fish the Delta. Him and Josh both invited me to fish the Delta. Super kind of them to let me stay, hang out for a couple days. I'm gonna learn how to fish. <laughs> like you don't know how to fish? I don't know how to fish. Fire. I'm not even gonna be able to sleep tonight. I can tell you that. I'm just so juiced up. Here, I'll go. Walk it. Walk that dog. Look at him go. I'm gonna be fishing the California Delta for the next two and a half days with Josh and Joey. We're gonna be getting out here the next 20 minutes or so. First time fishing the Delta, super stoked. These guys very much know what they're doing. So, hope we can catch a 10 pounder today. Good morning, YouTube. Okay, it's 5.30 in the morning and we're getting out on the Delta to catch a 30 pound bag, two 12 pounders. That's almost 30 pounds by itself. No, I'm just kidding, we're gonna try to get out here and catch some fish though. The nice, the wind, is not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. No, no, no. It said it was supposed to be like 14. This is like zero. Right, so we're we'll be fishing with Joey and Josh all day, smoking giants all day. to blow out today. <laughs> I've never been that fast in a boat in my life. What are we doing, 76? 77.6. 77. <laughs> uh, I think I'm in heaven. I'll throw this frog around for a bit. I need to see how... Look at this. <laughs> this is so sick. Got a swirl on. Got him. Oh baby, oh baby. It's a giant. It's a gi Get the net. Do you have a net in here? Yeah. You got the little net hatch I watched in your videos. That's, that's sick. Just in case, so I know where it's at. There we go, first Delta bass of the day, of the trip. First Delta bass of the trip. How's he smell? Nice. Got him. Back in there? Oh, yeah. You got him. Get. Double hook up on the Delta. <laughs> it's madness. It's absolute pandemonium. Bastemonium. Look at this monster right here. From way back. Dude, it was the frog. Oh, he was far. I told you, as soon as I switched frogs, I would hook into him. What did you switch to? Got him. I switched to something way softer. Frog. Oh. Boom! <laughs> Is that like right when it hit the water? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Is that a two pounder? Yeah, maybe. He's two. <laughs> he joked it, dude. Oh, yeah. So, the reason these fish aren't as fired as I want them to be is one, we had that cold front, and two, so there's like 
there's the tide change and then there's the tide change. So sometimes you'll have like a low tide that's still like a foot, foot and a half. And yeah. It's not really a significant change. When the current switches, they don't really react to it as much. Because it's not a big current yeah. change. Yeah, you get like okay. a huge change in the tide, <clears throat> then almost always they're just... Come here, baby. Boat flipping. Oh, she's coming. Boat she's getting flipping. flipped. Shoo. Bam. There's your first delta. First delta bass How do you on feel? the Bass Art Spinnerbait. I feel phenomenal. I don't think I'm ever going to leave. <laughs> I don't. I'm going to just go live up in them toolies. <laughs> yes. Even a little guy. Happy about it. Pretty fish. See my friend. Hell yeah. Joey's on. There he is, there he is. Fluken. Fluken. So this is Hyacinth. This is Pennywort. And that's Joey. Oh yeah. Caught my first Delta bass. We've caught like five spinner baits, flukes, frog. We did catch like five fish, huh? Yeah. yeah. Shit, I thought we caught like nothing. No. <laughs> in my head I was like, oh man. This well, sucks. they're small, so yeah. maybe you're like, they're nothing to you. I'm like, hell yeah. I don't even remember the two pounders. <laughs> Had it for a second. Yeah, he let him load up. Do you see that? Before you hit him hard. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's an okay one, I think. Good one? Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> nice. Look at him. Got him. Plopper. Spinner bait. Come on, bug-eyed donkey, where are you? She's here. She Oh, she's definitely here. Been throwing the frogs around a bunch, frog bite is not going too well, and then we realized there's a bunch of crawdads up in this grass right up along the bank. Joey picked up his punching rod, and like the third flip, got a little like pound and a half fish, so. Josh is gonna show us how he's gonna rig up this punch skirt, for, or punch rig for us. We're gonna try that. You're gonna want a good set of punch stops. If you cheap out on your punch stops, you're gonna be miserable for the whole entire day. That's just my main tip. I mean, it's like 25 cents more, and it's gonna save you some stress because you just don't want them sliding up and down your line. So I'm gonna slide off this punch stop. Then you get your punch weight. This is a ounce and a quarter. I believe this one's a river to sea trash bomb, but I mean, if it's tungsten, that's all that matters. Ounce and a quarter tungsten. And so we're going to do a snell knot that's real important with these punch weights. You're going to want to go through the front of the hook so that way um, when you pull it up that snell knot's going to come like this and it's going to go right to the fish's mouth. And there you go, there's your snell knot. So what happens is when you hook that, that hook's supposed to go right there right in the fish's mouth. And so if you don't have it, what's going to happen is this weight's going to come up in the fish's mouth like this and it's just gonna hit the top of the fish's mouth and the fish is gonna spit it out before you get a good hook. But this way, it just hooks them right in the top of the lip where you want it and that fish isn't going anywhere. Got him. <laughs> oh yeah. That wasn't a reaction bite, I was actually hopping that. I was going bump. Lunch break. Lunch break. That was the first half of the day. Tell me about it. It was terrible. It's ding fest. Ding fest. You probably got ten. Yeah. You probably got ten. One. I've caught one. You've caught one. Yeah. So about twelve fish in the boat. Headed the opposite direction of where we spent the beginning part. Yeah. Fishing a completely opposite tide. See if things turn around. Are they gonna turn on? 
never know what the top might end up. There we go. She's a little bipolar sometimes. <laughs> She's a little bipolar. They should, so here, I'll, here take, I'll, I'll explain it to you in the graph. This is the tide we had this morning. So it was a low tide, but it was like, it's not really a low tide. And on those, those different drops where it really doesn't come out or down significantly like this one, there's not as much current. And when that happens, the fish like turn on and eat. But I think that some of the bigger fish are a little bit harder to catch because that current's not really moving the way they want it to, if that makes any sense. So okay. I think on this high-low switch, which has been the, the really good tide lately at least, is going to be the key because it's going to be pulling out so much more current coming down. And that's what we're coming up on, yeah? Oh, yes. Yeah. Nice. That's like literally, and we got like right about an hour maybe. Cool. What's a fish look like? Spinner bait. Oh, baby. Is this all you're gonna give me? Young buck number two. Oh, I heard it. Is it a good one? Uh, tight. All right, tie the frog on. I'm picking my frog right Here you go. That was a good bite, too. Dude, he just kind of, I mean, he just came out. I don't even know. I don't know if he even ate it. He just came out. No, just go catch a frog. All right, let's go. Please. There we go. Woo! Delta fish number two. On the same spinnerbait I caught delta fish number one on. Windy banks, spinnerbaits, rattle traps, and frogs. Frogs in the slick water. Just ate dinner at the rusty, what is it, rusty rudder? Rusty, rusty rudder. Rusty porthole. You can't come to the Delta without eating at the rusty porthole. Well, we're back. We caught like 12 fish. This is what it was. Okay, so you were over here. Yes. I'm standing right here. This tank wasn't there. So you were just flipping this way. I up skipped, under there. I skipped under the dock right there and we caught four pounders. Rattling. And then it began. Sea lion came up the dock behind him, stole his four pounder. Came up. Thrashed right in front of me and then dropped it. It's pretty scary. Yeah, so we ended up catching like 12 fish today. It was super tough. Just couldn't find them. Tomorrow, Joey and I are going to be getting out. Josh has to work, so unfortunately, he will not be fishing with us. But he's leaving leave me with his rods, so huge thanks for that. We're going to try to get these guys to the East Coast too and do some Potomac River fishing. Good. Hey, I'm headed out. It was great meeting you, man. You as well. Hit me yeah. up anytime, man. Yeah, Anything. Sure. Hey, I hope tomorrow goes better for y'all. It will. Try to set up a little bit because better. day two is always better. No, no, no. Give it back. No. 